So, welcome ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Today, we're going to be talking about PPE, personal protective equipment. Now, during this COVID pandemic, the most important part of personal protective equipment is this. <laughs> so, this is a bit over the top. But, what do you think this is for? Stop dust. To stop dust, yep. Yeah. So if you pick up a load of that rubble and throw it in my face, you'll see if it works. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this is to stop dust. You're, you're correct there, basically. Um, now, this will stop pretty much anything. So it will stop all the particles and stuff from, like, COVID as well. So, but it, you, you look like a bit of a nutter if you wear this all the time. But really, uh, we should wear masks um, if we have to be closer than two metres distance from anyone. So we're uh, about two metres, so that's all right. But do you keep a mask with you at all times? Yeah. Where is your mask now? In my jacket pocket. Okay, so take it out. Good. Well done. So <laughs> that is your PPE for your day-to-day um, work. Now, why is that important, would you say? Um, well, when you're going into a customer's house, you obviously have got respect that they stay at home, that you should always wear a mask when running around them. Yeah, and what is the benefit of wearing a mask from a safety point of view? Um, don't get anything in your mouth. And what hap what, how does it protect other people, the fact that oh, you're wearing can, a mask? Say I had an illness or corona, then it would stop the spread of it. Yeah, yeah it'll certainly help to minimise it, because if you you're breathing or you sneeze or you know just cough yeah. or something like that what happens is particles come out and they go everywhere and you might have it or you might be carrying it yeah. and the, and you don't know because you've not got symptoms so it's just a way to avoid those airborne particles coming out from you but it also protects you from breathing in other people's particles a little bit as well although it's mostly for the other way it's mostly to stop you uh, emitting particles <laughs> so Yes, that is very important. And basically, when should you be wearing one of those? When you're not outside or in a room that's well ventilated. Yeah. yeah most uh, of the time. Most, basically, if you're in a customer's house, you should be wearing it, unless you're maybe in a room by yourself um, where you know there's nobody around or something like that. But most, most of the time, it's better to be safe than sorry, just wear the mask. It's a bit annoying, I know but it is what it is at the moment. So that's kind of like the ultimate piece of PPE that we, we need uh, at the moment during these times. But there are other bits of PPE that are important too. So let's talk about those. Um, so I, I'll give you these. Tell me what are those for? Ear defenders. That's correct, that's the correct name, well done. And what do they do? Um, stop my ears from hurting, okay. getting damaged. Why would your ears hurt? From power tools. Because they do what? Block out the sound. Yeah, so, and power tools make loud noise, don't yeah. they? <laughs> so above a certain noise level, your hearing will be damaged unless you protect your hearing by wearing those ear defenders. So what do you need to do? Show us how they work. Put them on, they cover your ears, and now he can't hear anything. So I can call, <laughs> I can say he's a complete plonker and um, he won't be able to hear what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're quite comfy though, so yeah, well. I, I quite like wearing them. I find it kind of comforting somehow yeah. wearing ear defenders. What I used to do when I was younger was I used to put those on and put my like earplugs in yeah, underneath and just like listen to music <laughs> while I was working. Uh, but yeah, I don't recommend that for safety reasons. Yeah, they're good. So those are important and an important way to uh, protect your hearing. So when would you wear them? When I was using a drill or just any power tool really. Yeah. Or when I'm around someone that is. Exactly, that's it. So it's not just when you are, are using the power tool, but when somebody else nearby might be. And also maybe a little kindness to do. What I usually do if I'm going to make some noise is I let people know first. Yeah. Because you could be there, you can put your ear defenders on and start drilling really loud. <laughs> and somebody in the room next to you is also going to get their hearing damaged. So I would usually politely inform them that I'm going to be making some noise. You might want to put some hearing protection on or on a big building site where we just do a shout, noise, like that, and then everyone puts their ear defenders on and then you get to work. So that is, um, yeah, an important bit of safety equipment. 
What else have we got? Um, so, we've got these. So, tell me about these. Safety goggles called glasses. Safety glasses, yeah. Goggles are slightly different. Goggles tend to cover your whole kind of eyes like they sort of stick to your face with a strap. Uh. Those are safety glasses. So, why are they important? What do they do? What, when should you use them? Um, just to stop anything getting in your eyes, dust or anything. Particles. Yeah, so when would you typically put them on? Um, again, when you're like drilling or something. Yeah, basically when you're doing any kind of work that could... Um, shoot stuff back. Bits of stuff could shoot in your face. So if you're drilling, if you're working above your head, even like you're taking an old oh, light yeah. fitting down, you might find that like when you take it down, little bits of the ceiling fall Same in your way. eyes and stuff. Yeah. I basically usually keep those on my head and then... Actually, if you've got really good safety glasses, you can pretty much even wear them all the time because they're so nice and clear. These Bola ones are really good quality. They're so clear that you almost don't notice that yeah. you're wearing them anyway. And they'll protect your eyes even if like someone comes swinging around the corner and a, a like with a bundle of cable and it slaps you in the mm. face, you know. Um, that'll protect you from getting your eyes hurt. So it's worth to have a good pair of safety glasses and wear them all the time. Uh, right, we've got these. You probably can guess what those are. The knee pads. Yeah. So those knee pads are for my safety trousers. So I've got my um, Snickers trousers here. These are the same trousers that I've got ordered for you. So mm -hmm. when we get home, you will see them. But they oh, go in knees. like this. And your knees don't hurt. So your knees don't hurt when you're kneeling down, exactly. So they're really soft mm. and cushiony. And you put them over like that. And you can smash your knee with a hammer and it will be fine. No, it's just for when you're kneeling down. Because as electricians, we kneel a lot um, for doing low-level work. And that just stops your knees from getting caned, basically. So they're an, another important bit of safety kit. Uh, what else? Uh, these. Tell me what these are for. Gloves. So they are work gloves, yeah. Protect and your hands. Yeah. When might you want to wear those? I don't know when I'm screwing or just... Whenever I'm using my hands, really. Yeah, I mean, again, they're the kind of thing you could pretty much wear all day. Yeah, I do wear these most of the um, time, yeah. And they're quite comfortable. And the fingerless ones that, that Traffy have given us are really nice because they, um, they, you can still do fine work with your fingertips. I know that some people would say, oh, you should have your complete hands covered. Well, yeah, you should if you're doing certain jobs. But for general basic jobs that we do, it's just more about protecting your hands from like, if you're hammering loads or you're doing, you know, it's, it just stop your skin from getting like rubbed and kind of getting um, hurt and damaged by repetitive actions. But it also means that if you need to pick up a load of rubble or a sharp, imagine you're picking up a sharp bit of like metal, like an old, mm -hmm. old fluorescent light that you've taken down or a bit of cable tray that you've just cut or something. Yeah, Those are cut-proof gloves, so they'll stop you from uh, cutting your hands. And also, when, when it says they're cut-proof, it means that actually if you slipped with a knife, for example, you wouldn't cut uh -huh. into your hand as well with that. So, yeah, good bit of kit, important. Uh, right, what else have we got? Now, these are not something we would use very often as domestic sparks. But we have to have them on the van just in case. Do you know what that is? High-vis jacket. Exactly, yeah. So why would you wear that? So everyone can see you. So everyone can see you, yeah. Why would they want to see you? Not just because you're a famous YouTuber. <laughs> um, case is dark and... I don't know. So imagine you're working on a building site. What tends to be driving around on building sites? Um, a lot of different things. A lot of different things, like big trucks, yeah. diggers, diggers, lorries. Yeah. And what would happen if they didn't see you? Hit you. They might hit you, yeah. So it's important that you're highly visible so that machine drivers can see where you are and can avoid you. So usually on big construction sites, it's mandatory to wear a high visibility jacket. <laughs> and also... One of these. Yeah, it's a nice jacket that. So I, I don't 
I don't wear it very often, but I always keep it on the van. And that is? Hard hat. A hard hat, yeah. So uh, when would you wear that? Um, on a building site. Why might you wear it? In case anything is to fall from above. In case those annoying bricklayers <laughs> who are throwing bricks out of the windows decide to throw one on your head. <laughs> yeah. So most building sites, it's mandatory to wear a hard hat, high visibility jacket. You've got safety shoes as well. So um, those are important. Probably the camera can't see it, but he's got safety shoes. I've got safety shoes. There we go. Um, <laughs> they, they look like really cool trainers because we're really cool here at Artisan Electrics. But um, they have got steel toe caps in. They have got all the protection that's needed for safety shoes. It's just that nowadays there's these kind of hip companies who make cool looking safety shoes instead of the old sort of DMs, which, well, actually DMs are quite cool as well. But I used to actually rock a pair of DMs at work quite a lot, but um, I just wear these now because they're easier to take on and off. But those are important. Why are safety shoes important? Um, because they've got the steel toe on them. So if anyone fingers to fall on your foot, you wouldn't feel it. So if I drop a hammer, on Oscar's foot. <laughs> See, he's fine. <laughs> there you go. I didn't really whack his foot, but it would have been fine anyway. Yeah, so that's it. PPE, that is kind of the full range of PPE I think that you would probably need on a regular basis when it comes to working in the electrical industry. If I've forgotten anything, let me know in the comments. And we'd love to hear from all you apprentices out there who are studying from home at the moment. Tell us your story. We'd love to hear from you. And hopefully this video has been of benefit to you. If it has, share it out to other people who might benefit. Hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And uh, hit an extra thumbs up just to say well done to Oscar for being in this video and being our little guinea pig today. Thank you for watching and have a great day.